Hello everyone, Mr. Lipchick here, and our topic for discussion today will be the Crusades. The Crusades were a series of religious wars in the Middle Ages, initiated and supported by the Church. They took place between 1096 and 1271. The religious motive for these wars was to free Jerusalem from the Muslims. There were other less spiritual motives, however, to include Christian nations wanting control over trade routes to the Far East and the Near East, kings wanting to rid themselves of rebellious nobles who were causing them grief, and the Pope seeking to strengthen his role within Christendom. Nine Crusades, four major ones, involve travel to the Holy Land, uh, that is Jerusalem, to remove it from the control of the Muslims. The term has also been used to describe missions to wipe out heresy, that is, uh, open disagreement with the authority of the Church, uh, and paganism, which is the uh, worship of multiple gods, in Europe itself. Some of the participants saw in the military service an opportunity for economic and social advancement. Some of the crusaders were obligated to serve as well under their feudal lords. In 1095, Pope Urban II called upon people to go to Jerusalem, the Holy Land, to liberate the territory from the Seljuk Turks. Christian pilgrims were being prevented from entering Jerusalem. The Byzantine emperor, Alexius Com Komnenos, sought to regain territories captured by the Turks. Almost immediately, a French monk, known as Peter the Hermit, organized a people's crusade. They were the first crusade, uh, crusaders to reach Constantinople. And although they were advised to wait for the main force, they went forward and attacked the Turks. Not a good idea. Uh, the Turks were a very warlike group of people. Poor discipline led to their being badly defeated. A professional military force, the First Crusade, was sent by France, Italy, Languedoc, and some German states within the Holy Roman Empire, although the Holy Roman Emperor himself did not authorize or participate in it. They were uh, joined by the remnants of Peter's army in Constantinople, and they captured the city of Jerusalem in 1099, killing 10,000 people in the process. After the battle, they set up four kingdoms there. The kingdoms were attacked by the Muslims, that is the Turks, causing uh, subsequent crusades. The new crusader states were constantly at war defending their territories. When one of those states, the county of Edessa, fell in 1044, uh, uh, that is, fell to the Turkish forces, a second crusade was organized. A strong uh, Muslim Arab leader, Saladin, had risen to power. French and German armies marched on Jerusalem in ten, uh, 1147. And they were mostly unsuccessful, and they returned to Europe in 1150. The Third Crusade, 1189 to 1192, known as the King's Crusade, began when Saladin recaptured Jerusalem. The Third Crusade was led by Richard I of England, known as Richard the, Lion, Richard the Lionheart. It included English, French, and German forces. They captured the cities of Jaffa and Acre 
on their way to Jerusalem. And disputes with Richard I caused French and German forces to leave early. With a depleted force, Richard was unable to capture Jerusalem. His army was unable to find uh, adequate food and water to sustain themselves. Unable to capture Jerusalem, Richard made a treaty with Saladin uh, that allowed European pilgrims to visit Jerusalem. Neither side was satisfied with the outcome, however, as Jerusalem was still under Muslim control and the Crusaders continued to hold territories in the Middle East. Therefore, in 1202, Pope Innocent II organized the Fourth Crusade. The goal was to conquer Jerusalem by a campaign that would be routed through Egypt. Venetian forces participated in the crusade, uh, and they gained control of that effort uh, and diverted it to Constantinople to reinstall a deposed Byzantine emperor. After some misunderstandings, the crusaders instead sacked the city in 1204. And this particular crusade never came within a thousand miles of Jerusalem. Other crusades to the Middle East took place, most of which were, were ineffective. A children's crusade uh, in 1212 was organized. It was believed that because of their innocence, their holy mission would be aided by God and would succeed. Many of them starved to death. Some were sold into slavery. Others settled permanently along the route to Jerusalem. The Albigensian Crusade was launched in 1209 to root out heresy in southern France. It had to do with political goals as France was seeking to gain greater control of this region. The heretical Cathars were defeated and their movement ended and the region brought under French control. The Reconquista, which took place between 711 and 1492, is considered a crusade as it drove Muslim forces out of Europe. The Fifth through Ninth Crusades did not produce any victories for Europe. Eventually, the Crusader states fell under Muslim control. While they were unsuccessful, the Crusades aided, aided in European nationalism with their tales of heroism. Some historians believe that the roots of anti-Islamic rhetoric can be traced to the Crusades. Several factors led to the failure of the Crusades. The distance between them and their supply lines was too thin, it's too far, the supply lines got too thin. There was a lack of unity and morale within their ranks. It was known that many of them were there for personal enrichment or improved social status therefore making them ineffective. Diseases took their toll on the Crusaders as well. And the Turks had superior military technology at the time. The Crusades had major impacts on European society. Trade dramatically increased as demand for luxury goods that were brought back uh, from the Crusades took hold. The use of money was encouraged as Crusaders needed to use it in order to buy supplies on their journey. And they brought back shipbuilding and map making knowledge as well as important scientific, mathematical, and technical ideas 
all of it, all of which would inspire the age of exploration. The Crusades resulted in a permanent collapse of the Byzantine Empire, which included the capture of Constantinople by the Turks. They strengthened the control of European kings over their own territories, contributing to the growth of the nation-state. The papacy reached the height of its power during the Crusades, and the Crusades weakened the nobility while contributing to the rise of the merchant class, uh, especially to supply the Crusades with their needs as they made this long journey. The Muslim rulers of the Middle East became less tolerant of religious diversity as a result of the Crusades. The schism between Byzantine and Roman churches was widened, uh, especially because uh, the um, area that used to be the Eastern Roman Empire, or the Byzantine Empire, uh, fell to the Turks and became less accessible. Also, the wealth generated by Italian merchants supplying the Crusades and trading with Muslim merchants would help to fuel the Italian Renaissance. And while they failed militarily, the Crusades created an increased sense of European unity. And they contributed to trade and new growth within the European economy. European exploration and colonization was also influenced by the Crusades, uh, which included the desire to spread Christianity, restless nobles who sought more adventure, Negative consequences of the Crusades include conflict and misunderstandings between Europe and Islam. Both civilizations would continue to be in contact with one another throughout the modern period. However, a divide was created, which would be termed the clash, clash of civilizations. That concludes our discussion of the Crusades. Thank you for attending, and I hope to speak with you in the future. Have a great day.